bourbon. They just don't make it like they used to. Full stop. Right. We did part one of this series, and we actually came to the conclusion after that episode that that is true. That they is don't true. make it like they used to. But we also recognize that science is important, and, you know, um, that was a really small population sample size, <laughs> uh, just five brands. So, let's so we're doing it again. Five, five new brands. Yep, five new brands. Give them a shot here. And if you guys like this series, maybe we'll do a part three. I'm sure we can continue think, to collect. I think there's yeah, enough stuff I out there that we could do this. There is. Well, it is sort of a challenge because we got to find things that are old enough to compare to new ones. So in this oh, one... We could do the old Granddad 114 today versus well, our 1980. that's vintage. And we sort of... We know it's different. We start to tiptoe into vintage. Like there is one in this episode. It's the Rare Breed from 2001. I call that vintage. That is our biggest swing. Our smallest swing in this episode is only three years of a difference, but there is a label change. And I love, you know, I know how people love to say when a label changes, um, the taste inside changes. So this 2020. is 2023, so 22 years and three years. So we have these poured up blind. The answer of what they are is on the bottom of the glass. They are in pairs. But we don't know what order they're in or which right. pair we're pulling from. Kind of like our 64 under 100. Right. Lens covers and new shirt. Whiskeyambitions.com. We'll true. talk about them later. These do come in very handy. Caramely, desserty. Yeah, brown sugar, mm. orange zest. Smells good. I'll say cinnamon, that. Cinnamon, like a kind of a burnt flambe, you know. Mm. They smoked it. They smoked the glass. They smoked the glass. It smells good. To your health. Delightful. Mm. Very nice. Kind of a short finish. I mean, not short, but shorter than I wanted. Proof wise, it's solid. So it's, yeah, so easy. Some darker bar barrel characteristics mm -hmm. on this one, and um, I echo everything I said on the palate. A little my... bit of honey. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna get a second sip here. Very solid. Okay. I like this a lot. All right. I feel like our reactions are equal. Very right equal. Now. Yeah. So when we switch, I want. I'm not overwhelmed and I'm not underwhelmed. <laughs> I'm just whelmed. You're whelmed. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take a little sip of water. There are definitely <laughs> spice notes coming through on that. I like yeah. it. Oh, different nose. A subtle different nose. But, Very subtle. Hmm, this one's more... Uh, they're, de they're brothers. There's a little bit of nuttiness in this one. I suppose. I think I like that nose better. I like them both. They're very similar. All right. Hmm. hmm. This tastes maybe a little thinner. Doesn't have as I, good of a mouthfeel. I was going to say, this one has a little bit more of a finish and a little bit of a richer mouthfeel. It's not a huge extreme difference. They're very close. But I could see how you having this one first, first of the episode, first bourbon of the day, you'd be like completely happy with it. Completely this. happy with it. But coming off of that, I'm like, I want that it's one back. It's a little, okay, well, let's switch back. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. one's a little more solid. There is sort of that uh, dusty nuttiness on that one. I smell it now. Okay, yeah. I think it takes this one to bring that out. On that one. Wow, I didn't get that at all before. Back to my original one. Me too. It's not that there's no mouthfeel on this one, mm. it's just thinner. Both good. This one I think has more spice coming through, whereas I think this one has a little bit more barrel coming through on the palate. Well, this one's hotter. I'll say that. I don't know if I feel that that's true. This one is closer than I feel like anything we had in the first episode. I agree. Mm -hmm. Do you have your choice? I do. Okay, me too. Three, two, one, do mm -hmm. it. Three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. All right. We agree. We have chosen no no what whoa we chose i was so wrong okay right off the bat we have broken the streak we chose the 2022 mckenna 10 year over the 2017 mckenna 10 year now i think this is where a caveat is important there are single barrels right and so there will be differences between them they were so close i could yes. definitely tell the it just wasn't a huge difference between the two, which actually makes me happy for two products that are single barrels. I feel like they're, you know, achieving, hitting that same. Went to the collection and found the last one that we have that was a screw top. And we opened it just for this episode. So we have Aww. a screw top cork. Uh, I was but not- But not the year that it tripled in price. Because <laughs> people have been saying like, McKenna just isn't what, isn't it what it used to be. Used to be, and I was sort of on that train. I don't know if you were too. It was a pretty close call, yeah. but we did choose Today's. the 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I honestly think sometimes when people think it's not what it used to be, is because 
there is the sting of the price increase and the price availability. And availability and this guy was available for twenty eight ninety nine in our area, just chilling yeah. on the shelf. Mm -hmm. This guy is available for probably between sixty and eighty dollars, depending on where you find it on the shelf, and because you probably won't find it very yeah, often exactly. on the shelf. All right, well let's move on to the next one. So far, one win for Sc modern day. Score one for modern. This is rich and berries, car cherries. Oh. Berries and cherries. Berries on and cherries. <laughs> also the name is of my it band. Is cherry a berry? No, cherry is a pitted fruit. I don't know what those are called. This is like rich brown sugar caramel. Obviously, this I know people also, are like it's always caramel. Yeah. Caramel. Caramel's not brown anything. sugar. Yes. A little bit of those berry notes that you're talking about. Great nose. I want to drink it. Very to your rich. Health. Stop. Mm. That's delicious. Wow. Mm. It's very good. It tastes like a you know like a blondie like a basically a caramel brownie or butterscotch brownie. Yes. That, but also berries and also like covered in powdered sugar and with some sort of a sauce. Very dessert. This one has a little heat on it. But you still get very soft. on the finish, the barrel coming through. Wow. That's nice. That's good. I like it. All right, we switch. Oh, the nose on mine was better. This one's more fruit forward, a little less of that depth on the nose, less of that rich brown sugar, caramely. I don't okay. know if I completely agree with that, Sarah. That's fine, Chad. Hmm. Um, Taste-wise, they're definitely related. They are. I get that same. I'm not as much cherry on no. this one. Um, this one's also a little drier, I feel like. Uh, I think the finish on this one is slightly astringent. Kind of a bitter, bitter wood. <laughs> Both of them have some heat. I'll say that. Woo, yeah. Whew. This one is a some heat. treat. So you're obviously voting for this one. I'm voting for this it's one obvious, too. It's yeah. obvious, yeah. So what do we got? We have 1920, Old Forester 1920 from 2017. The 2017, okay, yes. okay. All right, yeah. So it has changed, not a whole lot, but I do mm. think, man, the mouthfeel and the finish on this one, that extra oakiness, like my guess is whatever they're blending in yeah. there, they're blending a little less aged stuff in there now. Yeah, so 2023 I don't know that. version of 1920. Modern day, 2003, 1920. Um, 2017. 2017 could possibly even be 2016, but I went safe and called this 2017. Um, yeah, pretty close. These are more like, where the first ones were brothers, these are almost cousins. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I love that movie. So now we're tied, one older, one modern. Before we go on to the next round, one hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com where you can get, no, this, Sarah, this new, new and native spirit in this color. We yes. do like that. Uh, it looks good on Chad, doesn't classic it? Classic hoodie. Ah, oh, it looks pretty good, thank yeah, you. It greets his color. Hats, uh, all the Glencairns that we're using today. Also, these wonderful Lens lenses covers. that are keeping the gnats well, that are around well, in the summertime. there's not that many gnats, but they're keeping- of uh, our whiskey. They're keeping the nose in there and they're keeping yeah. everything else out, and we like uh -huh. that. Challenge coins, bottle cut candles, more, including now our event tickets for our November 10th uh, event are on sale right now. It's the Big Bourbon Night. Come have a bourbon night. The with inaugural Big us. Bourbon Night. That's right. Uh, that can be found at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And patrons get first crack at those tickets. Um, they also get. First crack at barrel picks when we put those out, the opportunity to be on barrel picks and discounts on that merch chat was talking about, depending on what tier they're at. All right, we'll be right back. I'm not getting much of a nose on this at all. It's good, I like it. It is more of what you would call a simple nose, but also a classic nose. I'm struggling. I'm gonna go ahead and sip it because I'm really not getting anything. I mean, this is pretty comforting. It's pretty normal. Um, yeah, this is very ah, baseline. But I'm not able to pull a whole lot. Me either. Out of it, a second sip. It's good, I like it. Yeah, it's just feeling a little light, uh -huh. a little watery to me. Makes sense if- Coming off again, 115 proof product? Okay. Yeah. Let's switch. Well, yours at least has more presence on the nose. Has a little bit more depth, a little bit more richness. Yours has a little more brightness. It's so bright I couldn't even pull a nose <laughs> out of there. Yeah, just like generic citrus. See, I feel like hmm. this is easy. Oh. <laughs> the one that Chad started with, the one that I have in my hand now, actually comes across like it has some more proof to it, a little bit more depth. I can actually taste some oak influence. Very light still, but not quite as light as the one that I was just sipping. Mm, switch back. To do another switch. It's barely there. <laughs> I... This is a little sweeter. Disagree. 
but I don't think it has the finish. Well, we can disagree. Yeah. We can be split. I think uh, I think I'm more on that one. Okay, so this is what I started with. I... So I'm voting for this one. I feel like this actually has some finish to speak of and some more developed flavors and okay. actually has a nose, but well, you know. Well, I picked Rebel Yell 2017. I picked the Rebel 2020. Okay, there you go. This is the one that was only a three year difference. Um, mine is Rebel Yell, yours is just Rebel. That's when that change happens somewhere in between there. I firmly stand by this decision. So this is the one that you picked, the Rebel, and I picked the Rebel Yell, the 2017. Um, now Both this 10 is, year products. And also single barrel, just like the McKenna, we gotta throw that out there. They are uh, single barrel, so there will be some difference there. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's also a sourced product, definitely on the 2017 and more than likely, More than I, don't, likely. I don't think Luxro has anything that is uh, aged 10 years yet. From 2010, yeah, unlikely oh, yeah, that yeah, it yeah. was distilled in they 2010. Don't, they don't. So this is probably, if I had to guess, Heaven Hill, don't know. Had to guess. Could be someone else, but maybe Martin, I don't know. But Nobody knows. Um, Somebody knows. Origin of the distillery might even be different between these three years. So That's true. Also take that into account. Rebel. Probably not the best <laughs> contender for this episode. But well, I think what we're learning to do it. <clears throat> from our split decision here and then from our first decision on the McKenna is that single barrels might actually be the way to go when we're talking like old versus new. Mm -hmm. Like you might be getting more consistent quality with single barrels because they're not blending like what we saw with the 1920. That's a product where they're using you know, multiple barrels to achieve a flavor profile. Yeah, if it's an age stated single barrel, yeah. Right. To the next one. Okay. Whoa, that's floral. Yeah. Lemon perfume, lavendery, not cleaning products, but it smells like a freshly clean something. There's not much here. There's not, There's much. not much there. There's not much there, yeah. Very light. Okay. I do get some honey, light honey, floral. There is some floral in there. Little tea, hints of spice. I get some tea. I don't really get any honey. Switching. I get more Less of the, nose here. Uh, what did you say? Almost like, but Not like, cleaning supplies. Like it doesn't that. smell like soap, but I it totally. does smell like a clean, freshly clean surface. Yep. This one's sort of a toss up. Going back to my original. Going back to my original. Marginally. Marginally. These are very, very, very close. Very close. I do think one of them has a little more personality than the other. I agree. Okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> We're split again. By the way, for keeping score, one for the old, one for the new, and then one for the old and new split. Two, yeah, this is our second split. Yeah, so I chose the 2023 version of Four Roses Yellow Label. I chose the 2016 version. And again, this is all 10 recipes and they have a very mm -hmm. specific, you know, recipe for how they right. blend all their recipes together. So they now, should theoretically be very similar. Few differences. This is back when it had the screw top that now rolls it has no top. away. Now it has no top at all. Uh, it's topless. <gasps> and this one has the cork. The cork happened, I think, in 2018. I'm not sure. Uh, when they went away from the yellow to the beige bottle. But the other difference is this is back when it was six years, not age stated, but on the website saying it was six years. Now they say it's a minimum of five years, mm -hmm. which is a fancy way of saying it's five years old. But so, they could be blending some older stuff in there to yes, they achieve could. their profile. But they're blending in younger stuff, five year, that would take this down to that. Whereas that whereas wasn't happening here. Wasn't happening here. So it's a tiny difference. Very tiny. Um, but I I do prefer this one. Hmm, Chad, who doesn't have any taste, prefers this one. Aha! That means we have one left. Last round. Which unfortunately means we know what these are, but we don't it's know true. which one is which. This one will be the most fun. I'm actually kind of glad this one came last. <laughs> are you sure? Cause- I don't know. <laughs> it just, it's good in general. It's one of these is rare. They're both rare breed. One of these is rare breed. One of these, <laughs> one of these is rare breed. And the other, the other one's rare breed. And the other one is also rare breed. Yeah. This smells great. This also smells great. Wait, smells, can, I, can I go ahead and smell? It smells like uh, wild turkey, if I had to guess. Gosh, this is gonna be tough. This one smells like butterscotch. This, yeah, butterscotch, I, and this one smells like cookies. Uh, <laughs> this one smells like cookies. First instinct, I would say this is the older one just because of the butterscotch note, mm -hmm. but who knows? Oh, wow. I don't know. This is really good. Stop. But of course, Rare Stop Breed it. is really good. This is so good. 
butterscotch, caramely, uh, but that vintagey caramely almost. And I'm gonna feel so stupid when this is the new. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna feel so stupid. But and, and just like mm. a nice balance of oak in there with those sweet notes wow. and just a hint of like cinnamon. Stuff she said, it's rare breed. Love. Now we're we, switching. But to be fair, if you watch 64 under 100, you know we love rare breed anyways. Yeah. Yeah, a lot more caramel and almost a little vintagey funk on this one. Oh, this is sweet though too, like candy. This one has more tea, more honey tea. Uh, this one feels lower proof, which if it is the 2001, it is lower proof. This one's a little hotter, a little less polished, I think on the finish than the one that I started with. Both still very good, mm. but I have an answer. See, I think I'm gonna make my decision based on the fact that one tastes more vintage than the other. And that is sort of no, being bad on, on if this is a modern day one because this modern day one is really, really solid. Well, I think that you should choose not just based on which one tastes more vintage. Ooh, savory a little bit. But which one, you can order only one of these from a bar right now. You yeah. can never order the other one again. Whatever you leave behind is gone forever. Mm -hmm. Got my answer. I know what I'm ordering. Three, two, one. Yep. Okay. And we have picked. The 2001. Okay. Yeah. Rare breed. Yeah. Which means this is the 2023 rare breed. We just bought this like three or four days ago. It was a fresh crack today. Uh, we have to thank uh, John Wadsworth Gramps, Gramps for leaving us a, patron. Uh, a uh, sample. sample of his that he, he cracked with us a couple weeks ago. I left a sample with us. Of the 2001. Of the 2001. We do have a bottle over here for illustration purposes. It doesn't exactly look like this, but it sort of looked like this, because this is... Isn't it beautiful? Oh, 108.8. Ooh, I want to make this a candle. This is pretty. I think this what one's also 108.8. So 116.4? Nope. 116.4. <laughs> 116 mm. Versus 108.8. I think eight. eight. Um, so there is a proof difference there, but we chose a lower proof one. It just had that vintagey wow, 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 wow. I think this was and the biggest difference of yeah, the day. Yeah. Score wise, we were tied there. One old, one new. Then we split. I was new and you were old. And then we split. And then I was, I was new and, and you I were was old. old. So three and three. <laughs> and right? then it came down to old. So I guess overall, old. old but it's not a clean sweep like the first episode mm -hmm. where we went five for five, picking the old version. So is bourbon getting better or worse? There's more of a ray of hope now it's from this ray. episode. Again, I think what we learned is what you can count on are those age stated single barrels. Probably not gonna let you down. Yeah, prob yeah probably. Yeah, probably. Is a safer bet. Yeah, because even back then you could get an off profile single barrel. Right, that's the risk that we take. And you can still do that today. You can still do that, but. Well, cool. I hope we have enough to do a part three. I like uh, these. Yeah, these, fun. these are really fun. So that's where we better leave it though. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs>